I bought this sewing machine called Singer 222K. It's the arm free and I bought this in UK. I paid 400 pounds. It's in a beautiful condition. It comes with the case and everything. And you can see it's a nice little detail. And then this is what I'm going to show you how you use the embroidery so it's just a repair. So this is for the door that leaves down there for the foot. So you can put the bigger, it goes down. So you put the ball down and then you can do the motion. And then this is the sis wise and back stitch. And then this is the screw to pull out the bed. Screw it out and then you just slide. There you go. And now you can see you know, so the light comes out. And then you got that nice little narrow weight so you can go in there. And this is where the bobbin, so now I have this bobbin case. And yep. So yeah, I got the blue thread, and then I also got the white thread on the bottom of the bobbin. So the jean have like a little bit of blue and a little bit of white. So I'm gonna put this in here. Yeah, so I got this pin on here. This is like a big torn around it. So I put the pin as close as possible where the line is to the mesh up the sits on the fabric of the material as close as possible. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to sit it all the way from here double times, twice. And then I'm going to go up and down and do an embroidery. So this is the attachment I'm using this piece here. So you've seen them. This is the original piece that was came from the 221 machine. So you can use this for the 222K. So I pulled out the bed. And now I can use this for arm free. So it would make it easy to get into the leg of these jeans. So now I'm just going to drop this foot down. And then even though this is a little too high. So there's a little adjustable on those little attachments. So you can drop it down a little. So this way you make sure it's the easiest to free to move around. So this way it looks good. Now there you go. Now let's tighten it up. Now I just crank it down. Now I pull down the other thread out for the white thread. So like this. So this way you can do the embroidery. Now you put this back down and then you raise the stitch. So I pull all those two right out. Now you make sure you hold it and then you raise the stitch. Now I'm doing it a couple of times. So this way it stays in the stitch and then you just cut this piece off. Alright, I cut the thread off. Okay, now I'm just going to sew all the way twice and then I'm going to go up and down so it holds up together. Now I just embroidery, so it's just all the way around twice and then I go to the up and down and then sideways up this way and then I did the angle a little bit so you can see the stitch so you can up and down so it holds up together tight, nicely tight and give you this nice smooth. Okay, I did little by little, and then you put everything together, see so it nice and nice. So you won't notice there's too much about this. So yeah, so um, once it's all complete, I will show you how it works.